Okay, so a few weeks ago, I posted something on Instagram. What's that? You're not following me? Do it! The title image was, Why the Bible is Difficult for Modern Americans. And I know all of you out there are great, professional, all-American Christian boys and girls. But let's be honest, the Bible is big, the Bible is long, the Bible can be confusing, the Bible can be difficult, the Bible can be problematic. As much as the Bible has been life-giving and encouraging and transformative for me, it has also been frustrating and intimidating and confusing. And I think one of the big reasons for that is because in so many ways, the Bible is countercultural and counterintuitive to so many of the ways that we have been taught to read and to think and even to live in the modern United States. And so in this post, I tried to illustrate some of the biggest differences between what we're used to and what the Bible actually offers and asks of us. And in this video, I wanna break down those differences. Let's go. So the first thing that we are used to in our day, and it's a pretty obvious one, we're used to a modern Western worldview. Obviously, if you have grown up and lived in the modern Western world your entire or the majority of your life, everything about our culture, everything about our society has shaped the way that you view the world. However, the Bible is the product of an ancient Middle Eastern worldview. What we find in the pages of scripture is an ancient Middle Eastern way of thinking and communicating. And that's not to say that scripture can't speak to our modern Western world of today. But if we approach the words of scripture as though they were written from our time and worldview, we're going to misunderstand them. The second thing that we are used to or we have been indoctrinated into is headline reading and scrolling. So much of how we consume information today is quick little hits. It's scrolling through Instagram. It's reading 240 characters or less on Twitter. Once again, the Bible asks something very different from us. What the Bible asks of its readers is a willingness to enter into deep contemplative meditation to read these words slowly, to chew on them, to return to them again and again and again. And unfortunately, most of our exposure to the Bible in the modern world is that sort of quick, inspirational verse that we rip out of context and put up on Instagram or put up on Twitter. And so then we come to the Bible expecting it to be that inspirational and that headline-y, and it's just not. The next thing, and this is extremely prevalent to our culture right now, something we have become so used to in our world is polarized us versus them thinking. I don't think I need to talk about this one too much. Y'all live through the election. And unfortunately, far too often, the words of scripture have been misused to bolster that polarization. But so often, what the Bible is actually giving us are challenging calls to unity within diversity. I'll run through these last three real quick. What we often do in our culture is we make snap judgments and opinions. Conversely, the Bible rewards a reader that is willing to dive into careful, patient, wise reading and interpretation. So much of the content that we consume in our modern day is nothing more than escapism. It's nothing more than a TV show or a vlog that numbs us. But the words of scripture are not meant to numb us or help us to escape from the problems of this world, but rather to give us wisdom and to transform us right where we are. And finally, in our modern Western world, we have been conditioned to a life that surrounds ourselves, a me-centered way of living. But what the Bible calls us to, from page one to the end, is a way of living that is not centered on the self, but is centered on loving God and loving others. The Bible challenges and subverts so many of the ways that we have been taught to read and to process information and to interact in the world. And so what we have in the pages of the Bible is the opportunity for a true counter-cultural experience. It's an opportunity to step into another way of looking at the world and engaging in it. But in order to do that, we have to read the Bible on its terms. We have to, as Tim Mackey likes to say, love our ancient neighbors well. And I believe it is by reading the Bible in this way that we will actually begin to see and be transformed by the truth and the wisdom that exists in these pages. Thanks for watching. Keep being awesome.